Lights out, and we go racing then. Good start from Weatherly. Not bad from James Chisman on the outside of the front row. He tries to move over and squeeze Luke Constantine, but surely one of the drivers is going to go Joker in the background. They do. Looks like it was Watt that went for the Joker. Sadly, James Constantine, we can see from our commentary position, has not gone away at all well from the starting grid, and he has got a lot of work to do now if he can indeed recover anything from this race. But it's Max Weatherly that leads the way down into the left-hander of the Devil's Elbow as they climb up the hill towards the North Bend. So it's Weatherly then from Luke Constantine, from James Chisman. We're side by side in the background there as well. Harry Volcard is on the inside of Durdin then. That's Terry Durdin who uh, is on the inside. In fact, Brad Durdin, I should say, the number 96 who he is battling with for fourth position then in this race. And Volcard is able to hold off that charge of Brad Durdin for the time being. The Max Weatherly race leader had a year out in 2020, hoping to be back for the series, but coronavirus pandemic meant he was sitting on the sidelines as Luke Constantine, the star of Saturday's action, goes into the joker lap, allowing James Chisman and Max Weatherly to scamper away at the front of the field. Constantine out of the joker lap, back onto the main circuit at Dover Slope, and he falls to fourth place. Lock up there on the rears for Maxwell. He just shows how hard he is pushing, really, on the ragged edge of adhesion through the left-hander of the Devil's Elbow. Bit of daylight now between himself and James Chisman, of course, owing to Luke Constantine's joker on that last lap. But if anything, Chisman has closed that gap down to uh, Max Weatherly in front. So that puts him in a good position for when the jokers come up and when these drivers will do so. If you're James Chisman here, what are you thinking if you're stuck behind Max Weatherly? He's not too close to mount an attack. Do you joker and try and get that out of the way? Yeah, but I think it would be a wise move from Chisman to joker now, try and get some clear air, but he's not going to. He's going to stick to the normal line for now. And we know that Luke Constantine really is rapid in fourth place behind them. So he's jokered, the top two haven't. So it will change, I'm sure, before we get to the checker flag at the end of six laps. Yeah, the advantage here for Luke Constantine is he's in clear air at the moment. He's not stuck behind traffic behind a slower car, and he's able to just run his own race, really, set some fast lap times and not worry too much about what's happening in front of him. And that's really what you want from a joker if you're going to get out of the way early doors, because you don't want to be stuck in traffic. It becomes a bit of a problem when we have so many drivers going into that joker on the first lap. We saw races earlier on where we had seven drivers often going off into the joker, and that kind of negates the advantage advantage of doing it early because what you want is you want clear track as we said to run your clear lines to run your clear race and to take advantage of those in front of you whilst they're squabbling and battling amongst one another but no such problems there for Max Weatherly who leads the way at the moment keeping a good consistent pace and that gap between James Chisman though it shrunk initially it's stabilizing now yeah and Max Weatherly the fastest driver on circuit which you can see the gap is just building over just a 50 point zero last time around and Chisman a 50.1 so there's nothing between them which is what we expect they're identical closely controlled 1.6 litre Suzuki's and they've just got the right method Chisman just can't seem to close in on Weatherly that gap is staying very constant he'll need to joke it to try and mix things up I think yeah, it certainly seems that way coming down the bottom of the hill we go there is Luke Constantine who is coming down the hill he is just behind Harry Volcard behind the wheel of the number 80 Harry of course uh, using one of the rented Swifts here this weekend and good to see him the former British touring car competitor doing a good job out there on track he goes Joker releases Luke Constantine we can see that from our commentary position as there goes James Chisman he also jokers where's he going to emerge in relation to Luke Constantine so Constantine has got the overcut the undercut rather I should say, done absolutely perfectly and emerges ahead of the number 222 as they come in towards the Devil's Elbow. Chisman doesn't like that at all and immediately goes on the attack against the number 9. He gets the inside line. They run nearly side by side up the hill. Luke Constantine knows that goes defensive. Chisman's going to try and do it later on the brakes into here, but Constantine has the inside line. He has the high ground. He has track position and he's not allowing the 222 to find an opportunity to get through, but he still is not giving up here. James Chisman is going to try and go later on the brakes into Paddock Ben, but Constantine is wise to that and Luke manages to hold off the charge of Chisman for the time being. Max Weatherly is jokering. This is the final lap for Luke Constantine and Chisman. They absolutely together. Oh, contact! As they went into Chesson's. There's contact in between them there. A little bit of contact between themselves and Chisman, but Max Weatherly's got this one sewn up. He's got such a clear advantage. He's already up the road and into the devil's elbow as it stands. But these two still squabbling for second position between Luke Constantine and James Chisman. This is a great scrap in the final in the Swifts here for the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship but I don't think James Chisman is going to have an opportunity to find his way through 
unless Constantine makes an error down into the bottom bend at Paddock. But what can we say about Max Weatherly? A fantastic race it has been for the number 23. He comes over the timing line to take the chequered flag in the Suzuki Swift Championship. Then he wins round two here at Lytton Hill.